Pie Guys. Uh, welcome back to another cooking demo. Uh, today I've got a little bit of wild garlic left over from yesterday. So we'll make a dish, uh, another dish using wild garlic. So I've raided the freezer and got a salt out and I've ribeye steak, which we're going to cook today uh, with some uh, potato wedges, uh, a little bit of uh, tennis stone broccoli, and then we're going to make a uh, wild garlic hollandaise. So a take on a, uh, a bit of a Bernays sauce so instead of tarragon, we're going to use the wild garlic in there instead. So we'll start off really just getting these potatoes on the go into wedges. So these will take probably about 25-35 minutes in the oven. We'll pop a little bit of garlic in them uh, with about 10 minutes to go. So just put those into a bowl. Drop of oil, just normal veg oil on there. Just toss that around, just so they're completely coated in that oil. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Straight into the baking tray. And those go in the oven. 180 to uh, 180 to 190 degrees, and then we just forget about those for a bit and we can carry on cooking with other things. Um, so, the start of the, the uh, sauce start off we've got half an onion diced up there into a pan. Uh, we'll put some uh, black peppercorns. All right. 20 black peppercorns going into there, some white wine vinegar. So we're going to make this into a bit of a reduction. So get some flavour into there, and this will be the base of the hollandaise sauce. That can go on there. As you can see, that's reduced down nicely. So I started off probably about 100ml of white wine vinegar, and that's reduced down easily down by half of that. All you want there is the cooking liquid out of there. Okay. So guys, within the bowl you've got the reduction of the white wine vinegar and then the two egg yolks. We just need to cook that out over the pan of boiling water. Really cook those eggs out of there. Once that starts to cook away, we need to add some, some melted butter into there to emulsify the sauce. So while that's cooking out, it's about 125 grams of melted butter, one in there. Got to keep it moving all the time, stop those eggs from splitting, you don't want that. Keep mixing away, mixing away over that water. Colour in yellow. Okay. There we have it. There we go. That's really nice. We need to start slowly adding the butter into that. Okay. Slowly adding, mixing as we go. A little bit at a time, okay. Don't want that splitting, you've got to keep it moving. Get a bit more butter into that, small amount at a time. Make sure it's all incorporated in. Take all of this butter, okay. Take that off the heat, 
Okay. Fine it up. A bit more butter. day sauce here. What we want to do is make it into that wild garlic hole bit. Okay. Just turn my pan on ready for my steak, get that heated up really nice and hot. Okay. So whilst that's heating up, just finish off this sauce. Okay. So here I've got some of the wild garlic, uh, probably about uh, 10 grams uh, of wild garlic chopped up um, to go straight into there. Mix that through. Okay, Put that lovely flavour into the wild garlic, into this sauce. There we have. Okay, and what I'm going to do with it, I'm going to give it a blitz. Okay, just with a little hand blitzer. Give that a Wild garlic hollandaise, ready for that beautiful steak. Okay, so we'll just set that to one side. Can smell that, the heat of that pan coming through quite nicely. So the ribeye steak has just been set out on the side, getting up to room temperature. I've put a little bit of sea salt, a little bit of cracked black pepper on each side of that to season it up. Rested nicely, okay. As soon as the pan is steaming nice and hot, we'll put that, pan, put that steak in the pan. Okay, so we're looking really for uh, a ribeye steak because of the, the, the fat going through it. We want to be cooking minimum medium rare. I do like my steaks rare normally, but when it comes to ribeye, it's got to be medium rare to medium really. So you start cooking, cooking this fat through the steak. Okay, we'll just put it straight onto there. Hear that lovely sizzle. Okay. Okay, we'll cook that probably about four, four minutes, four to five minutes on each side uh, of that to get that cooked all the way nicely through so it's a nice medium. So I'll just turn that one over. Beautiful markings on there. Okay. I'll leave that again. So guys, so while the uh, tennis stem is cooking nicely, we'll have a look at what's happening in the oven with these uh, wedges. Uh, we want to put a little bit of garlic in there as well, so whole garlic, oh, straight in half. I was ready to go straight on top of those uh, lovely potatoes. Okay, so they're coming on quite nicely. Still need a bit of colour, not quite finished yet. Okay, so we'll just crack open over those cloves of garlic over the top of there. Ready to roast again. And those go straight back in another 10 minutes on top of those okay okay then guys so we're pretty much ready to be plating up now so we start off with the steak nicely rested there in the middle there okay. we've got our tender stem lovely char grilled up now put that on the board there beautiful let's grab our wedges out Lovely wedges, finish off with a bit of salt, a bit of pepper, lovely. 